What is up YouTube? It's Warcam and today we are doing my top 10 players in MLB The Show, Diamond Dynasty. And a little precursor here, we want to talk about a few things before we get in this list because you may have seen the thumbnail and go, Cameron, where, where's 99 Babe Ruth? Where's Where's 99 Jimmy Rollins? Where's all these other cards that are 99? So I've limited the list to cards that are actually, I would say, accessible right now. Like this Alfonso Soriano, this Mike Napoli, Jim Palmer, um, Trevor Story. We keep going down. 97 Kyle Seager. We get to the bosses. 99s. No one has these cards right now unless it's BR. And I'm not really talking about BR because it's a whole different ballgame where every card is accessible. Also... What are the cards? Oh, the collection wards. I'm not doing the collection wards the tier list either because 99.99999% of people won't have them. I, I'm not, like obviously, yes, Babe Ruth is the best card in the game. Um, I don't think I need to make a, 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 a ranking list to determine that. So it's cards that I deem accessible to Affinity, Marketplace, um, Program, stuff like that. So no, my number one is not the best card in the game. Or is it? Um, we'll get there when we get there, but just a precursor there. It's no collection awards and none of those extra award path cards that pretty much aren't in the game yet. But before we hop in here, if you do enjoy this kind of MLB the show 24 videos, be sure to check out my link in the description below. I got some gameplays just in my ranked debut and my first BR run on the channel. Go check this out. And uh, without further ado, let's hop in here. I do have three honorable mentions here and they're, they're all, they're all good cards. I, a lot of these cards in this list are interchangeable. But these are honor missions for specific reasons. Now, this honor mission is a collection award for the Dodgers, I believe. Yeah, this is 90 overall Mike Piazza. Obviously, collect the Dodgers means collecting three 90 plus overalls. So this could be a lot, a lot of stubs. Definitely not worth the price. But I didn't even know this Mike Piazza had this good of stats until this morning when I started making this list. 109, 110 contact, 89 power, 79 power. A 114 clutch, which clutch is super important. The most underrated stat still. A lot of people don't look at clutch just because we're not used to it for years and years on. Um, but he's on this Arnold Mitchell list because one, it's the collection award for the Dodgers, so not worth the price. And two, I've never been a fan of his swing, even as a Dodger fan. So I can't I can't put him on the list. Also, another honorable mention, Jordan Alvarez, hitting stats out of this world, can't field for shit. He's just simply probably not worth his price, even though I love his swing. It, you probably want more than just a DH for 100K. And then my last honorable mention is Shohei Otani. Shohei Otani's not on my list. And that's for a few reasons. Yes, he has one-on-one -on -one hits per nine. Yes, he probably has the best pitch mix in the game with four-seam cutter, splitter, sinker, slurve. I mean, you, you really can't ask for much more. And hitting stats that are that, that are good, just not out of this world. Um, his control is a little low. It's 69, 51 walks per nine. I've always had problems locating with Otani this year. And you factor that in with the new pinpoint stuff. It's harder than ever to locate pitches this year, in my opinion, with pinpoint. And he's also 245K. So is he worth that price? No, especially if he's not going to dot up. And I mean, his hitting stats, once again, are good, but not... Not out of this world, not better than other DHs you could put there in the game right now. Some that are free. So, I he's not on my list. It might seem crazy the highest live series card is not on my list, but those are the two reasons why he's he's not on there. Now, this card is actually probably one of the it might it might be the most underrated card on this list. Let me see if I can get to him right here if I can find him. He's actually going to be a hitter captain, and the only the only way you can get him is in the pack right here in the marketplace with 25k stubs. Adam Dunn. Like I said, didn't even know about this guy until this morning. Look at these stats here. 91 contact, 93 contact, 110, 90 power, 97 clutch. Obviously, he's probably going to be a DH. He can play the field or play first. I personally wouldn't put him there because I'm not I'm not trying to see him miss routine fly balls. But you might say the vision is low. I, I'll talk about it multiple times in this video. Vision does not matter right now. I mean, we're, we're all playing on our all-star. Um, if you have the Buxton card, the team cap or the yeah, the, the team captain Buxton that provides the boost that I'll talk about a little later, um, it's going to get even more stats up. You want to have cards at low vision. I mean, at this point, um, so the the vision stat I, I wouldn't even look at right now. I mean, until you get into Hall of Fame difficulty, until you get into 700 rating, there's no reason to worry about it. It does not play a factor at All Star. So Adam Dunn is clocking in at number 10 for me for that reason. 
The next card that I just talked about is Byron Buxton, pretty much the only, the best Cornerstone uh, player in the Cornerstone pack that you get for pre-ordering the game. And um, for good reason, 101, 99 power with 96 speed and 95 fielding, he's gonna play. Um, vision low, and this is why vision doesn't matter. He boosts people with under 60 vision. I have 11, look, look at these guys that are boosted up. Spencer Jones is a 92 on my team. Bel or not Beltre. Stan's a 93. Gary's a 94. Dalton Rush is a 91. I mean, these guys are boosted out, out the gym, dude. Look at my look at these guys' stats. That are just 87 overalls. I, this the best cornerstone captain, and that's why he's in there at number nine. This next guy, number eight, it's gonna be one of the guys from the other pre-order pack you get with Beltre and Griffey and all those other guys. Richie Sexton. Never even thought in my mind to take him in that pack. I wish I did at this point. 76, 92 contact, over 100 power both sides. Division is low, so he's gonna play on that Byron Buxton theme team, or that that, that boosted team. Clutch is okay. Um, not a good field to be plays first base. It doesn't really matter. He has quirks. That is important. Um, only bad thing I would say that he's 6'8", but um, I, I really don't like tall players because the strikes on his massive. But other than that, he's, He's probably, him and Dunn are probably the most underrated players on this list. The next player on the list at number seven is going to be the first Team Affinity card. It's this Gary Sanchez. 102 contact, 44 contact, yeah, it's not great, but 107, 116 power, less than 60 vision, so he plays on the Buxton team. I'll talk about that multiple, multiple times in this video. 98 arm. It, it, you really can't go, you really can't get better at catcher right now at this point in the game, in my opinion. In my small sample size, small sample size, 375, three home runs, two doubles. I take it all day. He's my catcher for the foreseeable future. And he's free. The card we're going to talk about is probably the most unaccessible card on the list, but he is on the auction block. People do have him. It is possible to get him at this point if you're just spamming rank season. It's going to be this Andrew McCutcheon. 94 contact and then 125 versus lefties. One of the few cards with a 125 stat this early in the year. Power's good. Uh, not gonna play on the Buxton theme team, but good clutch. Decent fielder, super fast, 92 speed. He's just an all around good card. Uh, Kutch always has a really good swing. He might be a little high at six, considering you know, his price and how hard he is to get and you know, just how good he is for that price. But I, I think he's a good enough card to warrant the six spot. Right below him on the marketplace for 20,000 subs. The best bargain on this list is 91 overall Mickey Mill. This card is, if, if you have 20K stubs, you should own this card. Every single person that has 20K stubs should own this card. 83, 93 contact, 88, 75 power, 88 clutch, good fielder, good speed. He has good contact, good power, good clutch, good fielding, and good speed. He's 20K and a switch hitter, Mickey Mantle with a beautiful, beautiful swing. Uh, number five, you might say a little high is a little high for those stats, but with how cheap he is, he should be literally on every single person's team. You're probably asking me, Cam, where are the pitchers on this list? Gonna get into a few right here. At number four, another 20K card, John Donaldson, the best lefty in the game, in my opinion. Um, if you played in the show last year, you know about John Donaldson. This card, well, obviously isn't as dominant as 99. It's still John Donaldson. He's still throwing the ball from Mount Everest. He's got, he's throwing 102, he's throwing the stinker, he's throwing the fork ball, the slider, the slurve. 83 hits for nines will play right now. Um, good control, obviously 99 velo. He's best lefty in the game. And while pinpoint is harder from the left side, which I, I do think hurts his dominance in this game, he's still high enough to be fourth on the list. And then number three is actually someone that I thought would be more expensive at this point. Only one, only, I say only, only 100, 128K, Aaron Judge. They gave this man 125, 120 power. They gave no other live series card that, to my knowledge. Less than 60 vision, like I said, vision doesn't matter. He's gonna get boosted even more on the Buxton theme team. This card with maxed out Buxton team team boost, it, it might be the best card in the game. Um, 43 speed, decent fielder. He can play in the field. Obviously not center, where his primary position is. I wouldn't put him at center, but he can play Probably the most power of any card in the game. 99 clutch two. Uh, he's and only 120K. He's not like 200 like these other guys that are near 93, 92 overalls. So he's clocking at number three. Number two, what I believe to be the best pitcher in MLB The Show right now 
is this Paul Skeens. Now, putting Paul Skeens at two and not having Rotani in the list is a might be a wild take, but I, I, I think this Paul Skeens is that good. He's throwing 102. Okay, he's got an outlier on the fastball. Slider, circle change, cutter, sinker. Pretty much like Otani, a perfect pitch mix. Um, 90 hits for nines is a great right is great right now. Uh, higher control than Otani. I, I I believe the Skeens is the best righty in the game, and I prefer to use the righty with the way pinpoint is this year. So I think righties take priority, and that's I, I think he's better than Donaldson regardless. But because people have seen more of Donaldson, so I would still have Skeens over him regardless. But it, it helps that Skeens is a righty in my opinion. And then number one, and then number one. If you watch my videos, did you think anybody else was gonna be number one on this list? Michael Trout. 86 contact, 95 contact, 106, 90 power, below 60 vision. What does he play on? The Buxton theme team. 85 clutch, 80 feeling, 90 speed. With the Buxton boost, He's going to be at almost 99 speed, almost a diamond fielder with about over 100 power both ways. Uh, Trout, in, in my opinion, um, quirks are good. Not actually a lot of them. I expected more, if I'm being honest, but I I don't have this card yet. Um, I put in a buy order a while ago. His price just keeps shooting up. I will own him today. Trust me. Um, in my opinion, Trout has the best swing of any player in over the show my favorite swing like i said these lists are you know typically personable and personalized this is my favorite swing in it'll be the show and with the buxton team boost and with how trout was last year i mean this card just trout just does things in it'll be the show that other cards don't i, I don't know how to put it other than that um like i said if you watched the channel last year you know about wbc trout on this channel trout is the greatest player I've ever used in the show. And if you didn't think he was gonna be number one on this list, you're out of your fucking mind. Um, but that's my list. While he's expensive, he's best hitter in the game. So I think he's worth um, worth the price. But anyways, that's my list. Like I said, you can switch around a lot of players in this list. Um, a, a lot of the guys from like five through 10 are really like interchangeable. But I, I think the top four are pretty, pretty clear for me. Um, but like I said, everyone's list is their own thing, so. Do with that information what you will. If you did enjoy, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Gonna have Trout's debut in ranked seasons tomorrow. Um, and I expect about three home runs. So be there for that. I'll see you on the next one. Hope you did enjoy. Deuces.